So good day everyone, I am Zachary Machacon from BS Computer Engineering A1 and today I will be discussing about my solution of the volume of solid of revolution. So today, my problem, as you can see, is, the find, is to find the volume of the solid generated by revolving the region bounded by y is equal to x squared and the x-axis on negative 3 to 5 inclusive about the x-axis. So, if we form the function in a graph, y is equal to x squared is a quadratic equation. Therefore, it forms a parabola. So, given the boundaries of negative 3 to 5, we can go ahead and create a boundary here in our graph. I'll show it here. Hold on. So, we can create some boundaries here from negative 3 to 5. So these are the values that are inclusive. So next, let's shade the part in order to represent uh, the half of our solid or the radius. So let's go ahead and shade it. So that will be the shaded region of our solid. So our solid will create a revolution around the x-axis. So since the x-axis is a boundary of the solid, therefore we'll be using the disk method. So let's go ahead and create our solution. So as per the formula for defining the volume of a solid of revolution, we are given the formula that the volume is equal to pi multiplied by the integral of f of x squared from a to b. So given our function which is x squared, we can go ahead and replace it here. x squared squared is x to the power of 4. So let's go ahead and replace it here. So pi x4 dx. And our boundaries will be the ones given in our problem, which is from negative 3 to 5. So so let's go ahead and integrate this um, integrate this given problem. So x to the power of 4 is just a simple integration of a power. So we go ahead and add 1 to the exponent on top and do that also on the denominator. So therefore, that becomes x to the power of 5 over 5. So we're done integrating. So let's find the definite integral from negative 3 to 5. So let's go ahead and um, illustrate that for a while. So pi x to the power of 5 over 5 from negative 3 to 5 will be equal to pi multiplied by 5 to the power of 5 over 5 minus negative 3 to the power of 5 over 5. So that will be equal to, let's go ahead and use our calculator. So 5 to the power of 5 is 3,125 subtracted by negative 3 to the power of 5. So negative 3 to the power of 5 is 243. Since it's a double negative, that becomes a positive. So 243 over 5. Then that becomes, just add our numerators. 3125 plus 243. That becomes 3368 over 5 pi. So that will be our final answer. The volume of the solid generated of revolution, therefore, is 3,368 over 5 pi. Thank you, and that will be all.